Number 45. Write the half reactions and the cell reaction occurring during electrolysis of each molten salt below. And then we have aluminum chloride, which is AlCl3. Okay, so we just have to write the half reactions and the overall cell reaction for this electrolysis reagent, right? This molten salt, but it's got a metal and a nonmetal. So it's a ionic compound or an ionic salt. And in order for us to do this problem, remember salts, ionic compounds, they have positive and negative charges. So we're just gonna break down this compound into its positive and negative ion. Well, aluminum goes first and then the chlorine. Now aluminum, you could use those subscripts to figure out what the charges are, right? This one will crisscross up telling me that the chlorine is gonna be a negative one. And then this three crisscrosses up to aluminum telling me that the aluminum is gonna be a plus three. And now these are the two ions that I start with for my half reaction. So I have aluminum, three plus, and Cl minus one. And the idea here is that whatever your ion is, you're going to return it back to its original state without a charge. So aluminum is just going to go back to just being Al, and the chlorine is just gonna go back to being Cl. Now before you do anything else, just make a note, are any of these part of your diatomic clan? Well, aluminum is a metal, so that's not gonna be possible, but chlorine is one of your diatomics. So you have to say that you have two of these. Now, just, just, for, um, just for knowing, um, I don't care how many chlorines I have here, right, or how many aluminums, I just took the ion. Because in your half reaction, you just take it straight from if you had one of the ions. But now since I have two chlorines on my right side, I have to just say that I have two Cl minuses on my left. Now we can balance the charges. So for up top, the aluminum was an overall plus three charge, and then the aluminum on the right side was a zero. You always add electrons to the more positive side, bringing it down to the more negative. So in this case, it seems like I'm just going to add three electrons because three minus plus three plus will get me zero. And now for my chlorine half reaction, I have an overall charge of a negative two. There was no charge on the product side, so that's a zero. I'm gonna add electrons on the product side. And in this case, I have to add two electrons. So we have our half reactions. Now just know that anytime that you have electrons on your reactant side, that means you're gaining electrons, and that's the cathode. Anytime that you have electrons on your product side, that means that you lost them, and that's the anode, because anode is oxidation. But now in order to get that cell reaction, remember we want to add these two equations up, but the electrons have to be the same. But I have three electrons for the cathode, and I have two electrons for my anode, so I just have to come to a number in which I can get the same to be the same number. Well, in this case, the next number up between the two of them would be six, right? I could take my cathode equation and times it by two. Two times three will be six. And then I'll take my bottom equation and times it by three because three times two is six. But now you gotta be fair. You have to multiply all of your substances in your half reaction, and the same thing for the anode as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just, I'll put this up here, because then I'll just put the, the other ones down here. So for the cathode, I'm timesing everything by two, so I'll, ha I'll have six electrons plus two Al3+, plus, which will yield two aluminums, and then for your anode, I'm taking the three and timesing it by all of my coefficients. So I have three times two is six Cl minuses. That's a minus one if you wanna put the one there. And then I have three 
Cl2s plus six electrons. And now since I have six electrons on both sides, I can cancel them out and I can add uh, the two equations and I can get my, my whole equation. So there they go, bye-bye. I'm gonna add this up. And anything that's on the left stays on the left, anything that's on the right stays on the right. So I have two Al3 plus plus six Cl minus yields two Al. And just fill in your, um, you could fill in your states. Anytime that you have a charge, that's always going to be in the aqueous state. So I'll put AQ here and AQ here. And then aluminum just by itself goes back to its standard state, which is a solid at SDP. And then your halide, right, your diatomic chlorine is a gas at its standard state. And that is your cell reaction. And there you go. What'd you think? Just know that these without the parentheses are still your half reactions. But then we had to do that math to get the actual cell reaction. But that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're doing well out there. And let's just keep studying hard. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.